Hi guys, welcome back. Today we are looking at a, another Australian brand. It is the High Tech Oils Filter HT632. This is an Australian uh, oil company based in New South Wales. And they do also make these filters. They make about 20 of them, I think. So they don't have a huge range, but they cover the most common applications. This it says it's interchangeable with Z632. This one's a used one, generally generously donated by one of our viewers. I think it's going to be pretty clean, so we'll be able to have a look at it. So it doesn't have a box, but I think they're pretty basic, just red with high-tech wheels on them, pretty much. And this has got Further Manufacturer's Handbook for Installation. So the gasket, you know, it sits on there oh, pretty well. It's a little bit hard and... <clears throat> comes out pretty easy but it is used so the rubber does harden after it's been in contact with oil for a while and that's why they that's why it might be like that so we'll get it cut open and see what we got in there alright so we've got it cut open now Got a little bit of spring there, which is good. Base plate. It's got a decent amount of threads on there. You know, four threads. The holes, yeah, they're pretty decent. Like for the size of the filter, they could be bigger. But seen ones that are smaller so yeah it's okay it's not terrible but it's, this particular one doesn't have a any drain back valve so it's just got a little seal fits pretty well on there and then it will just sit on the top of the element there So the can itself, they're pretty, pretty thin, feels pretty thin, I'll have a quick look, see if I can get an edge. Yeah, uh, they're around 0 0.3, 0 0.4, so it's on the thinner side of the cans. Let it have a date code in it. If you can see. It's real faint on there. It says leak tested. 21st of the 618. got a very good coil spring that's the most impressive part of this filter the oil spring sits in there pretty okay and then in the bottom it's flat fairly well flat so it sits in there pretty good so that gives it its good tension Now, in terms of the filter itself, it's good to see a nice sealing surface on there for all the things to sit on. Let's see how well that, that sort of sits on there pretty nice. One thing I did see about this, it's actually got sharp flaky edges around the corner.
you can see that there, that's actually sharp enough to cut. And that's on the clean side of the filter, so I hope there's no little shavings there on the unthreaded part. <clears throat> it's got pretty good steel end caps. They're a little bit thin, but it's got a good spring loaded bypass for hour, which does work. It's just a bit. So I'll get the media cut out of this and have a look at the rest of it. Alright, so we got that media cut out. It's about 1.1 metres long, about 52mm wide. Obviously being used, uh, put under the microscope, it's just black, so there's no point showing you guys that. But I went on my website and they said it's just a high quality media so it's just going to be standard cellulose um, probably nothing special there I probably would have expected a little bit more out of a filter this size it seems a little bit small and if you look at the pleat spacing on the filter yeah, there's a lot of room for more. You could have fit a lot more media in there if you wanted to. Apart from that, it's got a good crimp seam. It's got nice holes and nice crimped steel center tube. Another thing I forgot to mention before. This is another one with your little tabs around the edge. Makes it a little bit small. You know, in terms of if you look at that filter and go estimate the size of what the element's actually going to be inside, you know, if you put that to the edge, you know, it's considerably smaller than the can is. But the glue is pretty good, they got enough. they got more than the Ricos have on them at the moment. <coughs> Holding all that media in there. Yeah, keep these clean. So what's the final verdict on the high-tech oils? It's a bit of a... A bit of a... Uh, you know, it's on the better side of things I've seen. There's a lot of worse filters on the market. It's got a good basic design. Like, it's got a good coil spring nice steel tube, nice components, you know, this isn't bad, the base plate's not bad, it could be better, the tin's pretty thin, it doesn't have much media, so it's got good, you know, the components that are there are pretty good, but for the size of the filter that it could be better, it could have a thicker can, could have considerably more filter media, I think. Could have more holes in the inlet. So, i say this wouldn't be a bad filter to have. I wouldn't be worrying about having one on your car. It's certainly not the best one you could buy with your money. But you could do a lot worse. So there you have it. That's the Australian high-tech oils. HT six three two.